Hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me Si Pitway. Today on the show I'm back at one of my permissions. I uh, haven't been there for uh, a couple of weeks uh, and the landowner phoned me, uh, well he actually emailed me and told me that they've cut the grass a bit. Uh, so I've come this morning, it's quite early uh, and hopefully we'll get a few rabbits. Now I've had a look round, uh, there are quite a few out but the areas where I normally shoot the rabbits the grass hasn't been cut. The areas where I don't usually shoot them, it's got it, so we'll see how we get on. Now what I've got today uh, is a gun, what I've had probably for about four or five weeks now. Uh, for the guys on the Facebook group, that have seen pictures of this, uh, and I took it out yesterday uh, as well, put some pictures up, some rabbits to chop. So this is an HW100 KT, uh, which is a carbine thermal. Uh, and it's the laminate edition, so it's got obviously a ju ju adjustable cheek piece, uh, and that comes up and it goes backwards and forwards. Adjustable butt pad, uh, and because it's laminate, it's lighter than the normal HW100. Uh, it's 177 caliber, uh, and after doing my pellet testing, this actually absolutely loves Bisley Magnums, as uh, my Brocock compatible does. So that's handy. I only have to buy uh, one brand of pellets for them two guns. So on top I've got my favoured Hawk Panorama scope and this is the 4-12x40 AOIR with half mil dot. It's all been calibrated. Uh, I'll be using my Hawk Laser Range Finder 400 as always because I like to obviously laser it. It then works with my calibration which I keep in my pocket uh, because I can see it a lot easier. Uh, lay it on the ground if I'm shooting off the bipod and this is a Deben tilting bipod so what I mean by that is uh, if the ground's uneven you can see the bipod legs tilt to get you into position so your crosshairs uh, are always vertical and horizontal uh, which is what you want really especially when you're shooting past uh, your zero range or before your zero range what else I'm going to be doing? Well, I've got a Panasonic camera. It's the uh, normal holiday snaps one, but it's got an high speed setting. So uh, I'm going to try a little bit of uh, scope camming. I'm going to put my uh, adapter on the back and try that, see what that's like. I can't promise what the footage is going to be like today because I don't know. It's all trial and error. So there's going to be a little bit of a high speed footage, and then I'm going to try some normal, what's supposed to be HD scope camera using the uh, the Panasonic. Pigeons coming in. Uh, I'll also take this camera off what I'm filming with now, put it on the mount I've got, and it'll go on top of the scope. So, uh, trying to get a, a little bit of a different perspective. So you'll you'll get like high speed, high speed scope cam, uh, scope cam normal, and uh, just normal zooming in and zooming out. But all right, I better shut up, get round, see if we can get some. <laughs> like that. Good start. So I've only just pulled up, you can see I've got the car behind me. Uh, and at the bottom of the uh, drive towards the pond, uh, rabbits are, as hopefully you'll see when I edit the footage in. So I uh, set the camera up and uh, 
lazed him, as I said, he was 53 meters. So, according to my calibration, it just needed about three and a quarter mil dots. Uh, there is a bit of a wind going from the uh, left to right, but not too too bad because I'm quite low to the ground uh, and there's trees and that on the left hand side of where the pond is. So just a little bit uh, and as you'll hopefully see the magnum hit him absolutely spot on. So 53 meters, well 50 meters is 55 yards so it's around about I'd say about 58, 58, 59 yards. That's a nice first shot. Uh, from a 26 meter zero using busy magnums. I'm gonna pick that up. In fact, what I'll do, I'll spin the camera around while it's live so we can get a better picture. I uh, filmed that in high speed, so I'm not sure what the footage is gonna be like. Uh, it's just a bit of a trial. Try and get some different perspectives on the channel quite hard all these cameras setting them up when you're filming on your own but there he is nicely down so uh, zoom up we'll pick him up Side of the eye, obviously, that's the bleed, uh, it's not going all the way through. camera's looking it's looking right into the sun so I was having to try and sh shade a little bit of the uh, light so you can actually see what I'm going to shoot what I was shooting So I have to get a repeater. We an HW100 KT laminate using Bisley Magnums. First one was at 32 meters, so I just give it just over half a mil dot, uh, and the second one was at 44 meters. Now we get a lot of posts uh, and requests for different things on both the Vermin Hunters TV Facebook group uh, and also YouTube channel, uh, and probably a I don't know, maybe two months ago, on the, I think it was only actually on the uh, Vermin Hunters TV Facebook group, but I'm not sure. Uh, I put a bit of footage up and someone asked me to shoot a group uh, standing unsupported. So rather than doing what other people do and they were using PCPs in 177, I decided, to, and at 25 yards, I decided to uh, take out my Sandalfield Sports Imp, which is obviously 2-2, uh, and I did it at 25 meters which is 27 yards and I got a really tiny group uh, it's not something I can get every time but on this particular occasion I was shooting quite well and I think I shot three groups and I think the, the biggest group for all, th all three standing unsupported I think was about 30 mil off top of my head uh, one of the, the tiny one was something stupid like 15 mil or something like that if I remember it might have been 13 so it was a really good group but 
my style of standing and supporting is not the be all and end all. It might be uh, absolutely no good at all for you, you might think it's rubbish. But if you are struggling uh, with a standing and supporting position, then try it, it might work for you. And it's called the artillery old. And basically, it's things I've learned in the past, I used to shoot like this. Uh, especially when I had a longer gun. So now I like shorter rifles, so I've got this, Brocock Compato, my wife's Ratworks Reaper, I've got an RM8, uh, Sandal Field Sport Sim and my Snipe. So they're all not super long rifles and they haven't got massive silencers on. Uh, I find out when they lo are longer, then you do start bringing your hand forward. And you can see there's no support, your hand can wave around. Where with a short rifle, and my preferred technique, is to place my elbow in and just rest the rifle on it and then gently cut my hands around it. Because my elbows are in, I find it really steady. It's like putting a rifle on it, best resting it on a beanbag or a table. As long as your upper torso is still, then the rifle uh, stays still. And that's my technique. So, if you're struggling, try it. If you think it's garbage, fair play. Carry on with uh, your own style. Uh, it's just for people who's asked. Standing supported. Please with that shot. Right, just over my front right now. Uh, in a garden uh, belonging to uh, one of my friends. Uh, is a rabbit. And Penny, her name is, she's put uh, rabbit wire all around the actual garden to try and stop them coming in and digging. But somehow, one's got in. So I'm not actually in view of it at the minute. What I've got to try and do is sneak to a fence, set the camera up, uh, and then get a shot of this rabbit. It's probably only going to be, I don't know, maybe 25, 26 metres at the max. We'll see how we get on. Set the camera back. I had to sneak down the edge line. Uh, the rabbit was busy feeding, which is a, uh, a good thing. But it's a good job you have a good backstop because the pellet actually hit the rabbit, went through it, and uh, hit the fence at the back. So, what I'll do is I'll just, now that he's over, I'll show you the angle, the view from this camera now. Just place the gun down. I can see him, should be able to pick him up for you. There he is, nicely dispatched. Right, I suppose I better go and pick him up. moving that's how fresh he's, fresh he is he's been shot but you can see there hopefully it's come straight through that's why I said you need a good backstop especially 
when you're shooting something like busy magnums at 11 and a half foot pound you can go straight through these rabbits even even at 40 meters I've had them go through nice 39 meters Nice clean shot, exactly 40 meters that, so it required one and a quarter mil dots of all over, nice. Right, obviously I've got the uh, Sony Handycam on top of the scope, so uh, I'll leave it on there, have a look, oh, it's a nice shot. Nice shot placement. See that? Blood in the ear. It was a good sign of a good brain. Headshot. Sweet. Well, these rabbits won't be going to waste. Uh, you can see uh, I've come to the International Centre for Birds of Prey, where I normally come, uh, and give the lady who owns it, Jemima, this great massive tub of rabbits. So they're not going to waste. Well, as people say, if you do a good deed for somebody, uh, it usually ends up you getting repaid at some time uh, by that person. Uh, and I've been bringing rabbits now to uh, Jemima, who owns the uh, bird sanctuary, for quite a while now. And I have already got a, uh, a ticket for me and my wife to come whenever we want. Uh, but I've got my son coming over uh, in August, Dylan, uh, uh, and I've just dropped them off, as you saw. Uh, and she's now given me another ticket now uh, for when my son comes over so we've now got tickets all three of us to come whenever we want so Dylan when you come over son nice day we'll come round uh, me you and Laura and we'll go and have a look at the birds well folks that's it for this episode of Vermin Hunters TV I hope you've enjoyed it uh, it's been a good few hours uh, and we've done quite well what you will have seen by now is uh, I would have edited two shots what I got actually yesterday uh, with the HW100 when I was at the stables, uh, zero in uh, and checking calibration. Uh, so you've got this great massive bungalow rabbits here from today which the landowner is going to be really happy with uh, plus imagine now another two uh, on top of this. So HW100 with the Bisley Maglims doing the business, said before in other episodes I really do prefer a heavier pellet. Uh, and it just happens that my Brocock Compato and this, I'll just put these down, they're quite heavy, and this Laminate HW100 absolutely loves them uh, and it's clinically accurate with them. So, from me and Davey, thanks for watching. Stay safe and look out for future productions from Vermin Hunters TV.